Honestly, I wasn't sure what to expect with my first letters and numbers kindergarten level math with generation. I thought level one was already starting off pretty easy for a level one book. So I didn't know how simple this could possibly be, but it kind of all makes sense now. And as always, I am super impressed with Generations and they are my favorite math curriculum to recommend. When you open it up, you're going to see your table of contents. Now this only has 10 chapters in it and those 10 chapters break down to 90 lessons, 90 lessons. That's all for your kindergarten level. Think about it more as like, introduction to math. This is just the first math introduction for your child. You're learning addition and subtraction, a lot of basics, even uh, recognizing these numbers and what they look like. And we'll get into that a little bit more. Remember, it's always bright and fun and colorful. Um, and I really like that. You, there's a little bit of like your math toolbox, things that you're going to need. And these are all things that you probably already have in your home. No extra math manipulatives needed. Then there's a letter to the parents about the goals of what the authors of the this book we're trying to accomplish and they want your kids to know that God created math. He used math. They want him to see his glory through math and know that he is there guiding them as they are learning. That comes out so much through here. I have never seen a more faith-based curriculum for math and not like cheesy throw in a verse here or there. Legit. Like, they're so good at it. Also wanted to point out this, there is a QR code and, oh, I was going to pick up my phone, but I am filming on my phone <laughs> and on there, maybe I'll get you a screenshot. It shows like some games that you can do for that chapter or some videos on YouTube that you might want to watch with your kids. These are pre-screened. I love doing YouTube or other videos to help my kids visually understand what is happening. I think it's great that they already have this figured out. They do that with their science books and other books too. We do that with our gather round units quite often. We'll spend our week learning and then we'll have a day where we are learning on TV, where we are watching things. And that just helps with learning styles also. And I really appreciate that. Like I said, there are 90, actually 91 lessons in this book. So as they break it down here, if you do three lessons per week, which is fine for your kindergartner, then it is going to take you 30 to 36 weeks to accomplish, complete this book. If you are doing a five day a week schedule, 18 weeks, 18 weeks. This is where I feel like this makes so much more sense. This is like your first introductory to your students. This level one is not necessarily grade one. And this is true of all curriculums. They will always start at different levels with different expectations of what your kids already know. Um, math curriculums are really different in their approaches. And so there is just like this starting off introductory level and then the next level and the next level. The grades don't necessarily match up with it. I think that that is super true with generations. So if you get a book and your kid is just whipping through it really fast, because with level one, we actually did like two lessons a day and every day. So we went through it pretty quick. Um, that's okay. It'll encourage your kid that they understand it. Also, this is a spiral approach. And I wish I would have said that way earlier in here. But as you are going, there's going to be review things that are happening that bring your kid back to something that they learned before. So you're able to move on a lot quicker than the mastery approach that some other curriculums take that you get really bored of just like tracing the number over and over and over and over for weeks and weeks or just doing this one thing. And if you're bad at it, you're going to be stuck on it until you really got it down. This one moves really quickly, adding new things, balances and comparisons. Um, there's a lot of getting your kid involved with coloring or tracing maps. There are shapes in here. Everything is so bright and colorful and it really does start off each lesson, um, usually comparing somehow of like how God used math in his design. When people believe in Jesus, they become part of God's church. God wants to use you to help his church grow. You can do this by inviting people to church and telling others that Je what Jesus has done for you. Let's add somebody to the church. When we add a person to the group, 
So there we're talking about additions. So yes, sometimes they're very simple things there, but I just love that recalling back over and over of what God's plan is for us. Okay, let's see. Here we're getting into some higher numbers. We're going to start counting um, into the teens. It is going to cover money in this first level later on. Also, they have like the number line for jump counting. There's telling time and this is just to the hour. So it's really simple getting started there. I missed this, but in lesson six, it's actually starting to teach your kids about how to read a key on something. And this is important later on when you're doing bar graphs and other things, reading the key to know what things stand for. Here they're using sign language and they want your kid to match the sign with the letter and then write it out to decode what is going on. Of course, you'll be doing measurements. There's a lot of color by number or trace the numbers to make something. Then we go on to gallons and ounces and pints. When I saw this page, I smiled because we have done a lot of similar things to this in level one, the maps and measuring the distance between one person's house to the other house. What is the shortest way to get there as the crow flies? What does that mean? Different things like that. And so I, I appreciated seeing the consistency going through their books, kind of just having some of those similar looks and feels. So when your child is there later on, it does look familiar to them then as well. There are also cut out activities. So when you're working on time, you can cut this out right here. So it's not that there's no extra manipulatives or things to do, but they are just right in the book already for you. I can't believe the price of this math curriculum. It is so much cheaper than what I have seen from other curriculums. It's bright, it's colorful, the books are quality. I don't know how they don't charge more, but I'm really thankful that they don't. Um, also, it's just this one book. There's no teacher's guide and student book. This is all you need. So right at the end in it, we're talking about equal parts and dividing equally. So we are, this is literally prepping your kids for division. If you were doing a mastery approach, they would probably not be talking about this yet. Um, they would go a lot slower and make sure other things are taken care of. It's a very uh, verbal curriculum. You have to read to your kids. They are hearing different ways that questions can be asked to know how to decipher what it is. It's word problems, right? Over and over using the words like equal sum and value so that when your kid does test, if they do test, they will know what that word is. Some curriculums tend to just use one of those words or they just have the problems written out, but then when so they are asked what is the sum of this equation, they don't know the answer because they've never heard those words before. Generations does a great job of making sure to cover all of those things. And it's one reason why I think, just one of the many reasons why, I think this is a fantastic curriculum. There's even flashcards in the back that you can cut out and other things. And a congratulatory certificate to print out when your child has accomplished the book. The one thing this book doesn't have, and I'll show it to you in this one, is this at the beginning of the book where it has like the day to do it, and the lesson and did you complete it and the progress and tracking like that. I personally don't use these. I do like when they're in the front of books so that I can visually see what the ideal layout is and how many days it's going to take. Also in lesson or in levels one and two, it calls them days. So like completing day 73. And in this one, it calls them lessons. I think uh, maybe, I, I don't know what their reason was for that. That is something that's a little different. Doesn't really matter. So that's just like a preference thing for you. I am an affiliate with Generations because I just so highly recommend all of their stuff. It's so good. So I appreciate if you click through my links down below. Go ahead and check out this video next or here. You may be interested in it and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.